Amid concerns over Sunita Williams' return from space, NASA recently updated the situation on the International Space Station, IS, where the India-born astronaut is currently based. Astronauts on the IS had to take shelter for about an hour after a defunct Russian satellite, Reshore's phone, broke into more than 100 pieces near the station. Due to the incident, all astronauts, including Sunita Williams, were asked to take shelter in their spacecraft for about an hour. NASA has not yet announced any impact on Williams' return flight to Earth aboard the Boeing Starliner spacecraft, which has been docked at the IS since June 6. But apart from this, don't you think? Is this the first instance in which astronaut safety concerns have been raised on NASA? No. NASA has encountered more serious issues in the past. NASA encountered an issue on a mission akin to a feature film and had already returned their astronauts to Earth by that point. Let's unravel this interesting story. 54 years ago, on April 11, 1970, an explosion aboard Apollo 13 left three astronauts orbiting the moon, 330,000 kilometers from Earth. Launched in 1970, this mission was NASA's third manned mission to the moon, aiming to land near the Fro Mauro crater. During the mission, the world became familiar with the phrase, Houston, we have a problem, when it was relayed from Apollo 13. Though different from Sunita Williams' recent experience, both missions faced significant challenges. The astronauts stranded in space were Jim Lovell, Fred Hayes, and Jack Swigert. Commander Lovell and Lunar Module Pilot Hayes were supposed to land on the moon on April 15 and stay for 33 hours, while Command Module Pilot Swigert remained in the Command Module. Odyssey, they were scheduled to return to Earth on April 21, but an explosion cut their mission short by four days. The spacecraft consisted of three parts. The Command Module housing the astronauts, the Lunar Module intended for the moon landing, and the service module containing the main engine and oxygen tanks. NASA reported vibrations just five, six minutes after launch. Two days into the mission, during a live TV broadcast, Mission Control instructed Swigert to stir the oxygen tank. This action led to a spacecraft shake, and nine minutes later, an explosion in the oxygen tank, which severely damaged the spacecraft. It was later discovered that the tank had been damaged even before launch effectively making it a time bomb. The command module's electrical system began to fail, leaving the astronauts without electricity, water, or light, and facing food and water shortages. Sleep was nearly impossible due to the cold, which dropped to three degrees Celsius. The lunar module, originally meant for the moon landing, became their lifeboat for the return journey. The explosion had altered their trajectory, but ground control corrected their path. On April 17, 1970, Apollo 13 re-entered Earth's atmosphere and safely splashed down in the Pacific Ocean. The Apollo 13 mission lasted five days, 22 hours, 54 minutes, 41 seconds, during which the spacecraft roamed space in a harrowing journey of survival. 